Each week on the award-winning Laura Flanders Show, I get to sit down with some of the smartest thinkers and doers of our time, forward-thinking people you know and others you'll want to know. We got to put health before wealth. We got to put education before discrimination. To put all this together means that human rights are no longer for minorities. Now is a broader perspective human rights for everybody. I'm interested in what's going wrong and also what's going right. We call the Laura Flanders Show the place where the people who say it can't be done take a back seat to the people who are doing it. Indigenous human rights defenders all over the world are threatened. When we're on the verge of, you know, building towards a more egalitarian society, those accustomed to privilege perceive a lot of equality as feeling like oppression for themselves. You have venture capitalists coming into an industry where they see or think that they can turn a significant profit. The question is, how do we embed um, culture and participation across the board? From New York City to the Netherlands to London and Cape Town, from what was history to what's happening now, The Laura Flanders Show lifts up models of sanctuary, reconstruction and justice that are helping us imagine a better future. What really interested me was what a person experiences and how you engage people with places and their own environment. A lot of nuanced and crazy conversations would happen. People disagree, people agree. I wish they had presidential debates in, in barbershops. National investment, proper taxation for the very richest, and empowerment of communities. Social justice? Socialism. Featuring multimedia conversations on TV, web, radio, and podcast, wherever you can get it, including special reports, web exclusives, and behind-the-scenes content for our members. What are you building? What are you growing? How do you think the future will tell the story of today?